Samsung finally rolled out one of the biggest updates for Galaxy S23 Ultra and for those who are excited, sit back because there are a lot of fixes coming to Galaxy S23 Ultra and we talk about them one by one. As we get the details, because Samsung rolled out the update on South Korean's version, the size of the update is around 900 megabytes, so it is huge. Let's start with what are the features we are going to get with this new update. According to Anthony, we get added features to improve gallery usability, out of focus concept has changed for faster photography, improve the camera function and image quality. Let me tell you one thing, this out of focus feature will surely fix your blurry image issue on your S23 Ultra and the image quality is getting better. Things didn't stop here, there are more updates we are going to see where Samsung is going to fix the phenomenon where a green light was displayed on the left side intermittently when shooting in the rear photo mode. Improve image stabilization when shooting with Full HD 60 after setting auto FPS off in rear video. Also, fix the malfunctioning when shooting after night off in low light after selecting shooting speed, high resolution, speed priority in camera assistant. Even if you are facing any issue with the face recognition, fix is here where he says, fix an issue where face recognition could not be recognized intermittently after ending a third party video call. Stability has been improved for camera movements introduced through other routes. This is one of the most detailed update we could see on the S23 Ultra since its launch and for those who are facing any issue with the S23 Ultra camera should be fixed. Even Ice Universe stated, I participated in the bug collection of this update. For those who are thinking about Wi-Fi 6, I'm sorry to share but there is no official information that this update will fix this issue. Although maybe they have into it and might get fixed. Well, to say the least, this update is more focused on cameras. South Korean and Chinese versions are started getting updates and in the next couple of days, you might see this update in European countries and in the US. So wait for it and update it as soon as possible to get things fixed. Samsung's next biggest launch is going to happen in August where we are going to get 4.5 and 4.5. So if you guys want to see how 4.5 beat S23 Ultra, then make sure to watch this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out.